Hello and welcome to episode 6 of The Professor and the College Student. There are more episodes on my channel and other series as well. And if you'd like access to adult content or you just want to help support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon down below. Please leave a comment, I love hearing from you. And as always, I hope you enjoy. I love the rain. But you're not so much hyperactive as you are a chronic workaholic. I, believe it or not, don't mind being stuck inside. <laughs> that wasn't a sigh about the rain. That was a sigh of relief that the academic year is over. No, I might not have to write any papers, but I do have to mark them, darling. I have to write classes, too. I know, it's incredibly hard. You should feel so sorry for me. <laughs> Aren't you relieved? Yes, but like I said, you're a workaholic. Certified. It's actually a bit concerning. It's called a vacation. <gasps> I mean, I can assign you essays for fun if you really want, but I will also be deeply, deeply concerned about you. I don't know why you worry so much that you're not cut out for academia when this is your reaction to being forced to take a break. You're born for it. Yes, I mean that. I'm so excited to see what future you will be up to. How you're going to set that clever little brain to work. If you still want me around for that long. No, I've not gotten tired of you. Not one bit. I'd be more devastated than I care to think about, frankly. I'm not naturally inclined towards optimism, not when it comes to myself. Oh, stop it. That's your argument. <laughs> so I gather for now you're happy to keep sneaking around with me in this ridiculous fashion. <laughs> no, it does. It does make me happy. Very happy. <sighs> Come on vacation with me. Well, usually this time of year I go to the cabin I have on the coast. It's about a ten hour drive away, so quite the trek but worth it just to get away from everything and well my uncle left it to me and good god wasn't that a drama when all the other cousins found out oh they were irate despite the fact that they'd never been there and hadn't talked to uncle greg in about 15 years oh the whole thing was ridiculous anyway it's mine, and it's full of books, of course, and has a fireplace, and is a short walk to the beach, through the trees. The only thing different this year is that I have you. Hmm? So what do you think? Go into state when no one knows us, huh? No sneaking around, just you and me. Two weeks by the ocean. I mean, it's the ocean in winter, but still. It's a Wuthering Heights sort of romantic rather than the bright summer sort of romantic. <laughs> no, that's fair. Wuthering Heights shouldn't be used as any sort of romantic comparison. But you get my point. Hmm? Is that a yes? Well, because you haven't said the bloody word yet. <laughs> I 
Well, that's the beauty of going on vacation, my dear. The whole point is to do nothing at all. So there's no plan, no itinerary. I can give you a reading list. Would that make you feel better? <laughs> okay, what should you read on your or on our holiday, huh? What should you read when you're tucked into bed or beside me on the couch? Oh, we're starting to see the appeal of a vacation, are we? Huh. Funny that. No, no, you wanted a reading list, little Miss Workaholic, so a reading list you shall have. You really do need to read Dune. I promise you it's worth it. No, you're not rereading Frankenstein. I put my foot down there. You know it by heart, and it's one of the most depressing books I've ever read. I don't know how that's your comfort book. I really don't. All right, then. Uh, picture of Dorian Gray. If we're going with the whole bleak theme. <laughs> that can be on your list. Uh, what do I want to read? You know, I don't think I've ever read an Agatha Christie book. No, I mean, there are a lot of books in the world. <laughs> oh, I should start with that one. Okay. All right. That's on my reading list then. Yes, I'm having a reading list too. Because I'm competitive. Speaking of which, read Kindred by Octavia Butler. Because you'll thank me for it, that's why. Go on, give me one. What should I read? <laughs> uh, okay, fine, I'll read A Court of Thorns and Roses. Oh, Akatar, sorry. <laughs> I never said I didn't think it would be good. I said I didn't think I would like it. Well, I'm prepared to be proven wrong. Well, if I'm reading that, then you have to read The Master and Margarita. Oh, I know you don't like Russian lit. I don't care. <laughs> I'm sure I can think of more books to add. Oh, good. Well, I expect a very comprehensive list because the only plans I have for our vacation are to stay inside, drink tea, and read. Well, I mean, I might have other plans. Hmm. But you're a smart girl. You don't really need me to spell those out, do you? Oh, you do? Oh, really? Well, like I said, we'll be tucked into bed and my fingers do tend to get a mind of their own sometimes. Oh, you've noticed? Well, when you're very busy with your reading list, I might be a little distracting when my hands sneak under the covers and into your pants. Well, they can stay there as long as you want. All day, in fact. My fingers have excellent stamina. It's all that typing I've done over the years. <laughs> oh, don't worry, baby. You're not going to get bored on our holiday. I'll be sure to keep you thoroughly entertained. <laughs> 